Hi, in this video we want to see how and why a Wi-Fi 6 whole home mesh system could be even better than a Wi-Fi 6 e whole home mesh system. Older technology but better? How? Now, each node in a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 mesh system has a 2.4 GHz and two 5 GHz radios. In a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 e mesh system though, each node has a 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz and a 6 GHz radio. Now I should point out that I'm comparing two mesh systems and I'm not comparing a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 wireless router with a tri-band Wi-Fi 6 e wireless router because obviously here the Wi-Fi 6 e router could be a better option. I mean here I will have three different radios with three different frequency bands at my disposal and I can design my network to take advantage of them perfectly. For example I can dedicate the 2.4 GHz band which is older and most likely is slower but has a better range to my IoT devices only. Then use the 5 GHz band for the majority of my personal devices such as laptops, tablets and smartphones. And finally use the 6 GHz band only for the devices that are very sensitive to the quality of the network. For example a gaming PC. Because it is less likely that I experience interference on the 6 GHz band compared to the other two. But as a mesh system, for example a Zen Wi-Fi XT12 and a Zen Wi-Fi ET12, things could be somewhat different because they need to have a backhaul connection. Now if this backhaul is wired, which means we are not sacrificing any of the wireless radios for the backhaul and can use their full capacity for the clients, more or less the same way I mentioned in the previous example, then everything is good and I would still prefer the Wi-Fi 6E system over the Wi-Fi 6. But what if I cannot run a cable between the nodes and have to use a wireless backhaul? Well in that case if I use the 5 GHz band for the backhaul then I can no longer use its full capacity for the clients which means all my computers, tablets and smartphones. And obviously this cannot be good. Now if I use the 6 GHz band for the backhaul then I can use the full capacity of the 5 GHz band for those devices which is good. However, there is now a couple of other potential issues. First of all, the range of the 6 GHz band is shorter than the 5 GHz band, meaning that these two nodes now have to be closer to each other to make sure the backhaul connection is strong. Also, I can now no longer use the full capacity of the 6 GHz band for those devices. You see, either of these bands I use for the backhaul, there is gonna be one or two drawbacks. Whereas here, if I dedicate one of the 5 GHz band to the backhaul, then I can use the full capacity of the other one for the clients. All the clients, except the IoT devices which would be connected to the 2.4 GHz band. But it's not like this is not gonna work because it will. But it's good to know that if I use the same radio for the backhaul and for the clients, there's gonna be a negative effect on the throughput. Because wireless is a shared medium and also half duplex. So in some cases, this could be a better option, especially if I don't have devices that support the 6 GHz band. Because over here we have two 5 GHz radios and I can completely dedicate one of them to the backhaul. But more and more devices are now beginning to support the 6 GHz band. So although this could be a better option in some cases today, in the near future it's going to be outdated because of not having the 6 GHz band. So it is still not perfect. Now how about if we have a quad band mesh system with one 2.4 GHz, one 6 GHz and two 5 GHz radios. That will be kind of perfect, right? Because one of the 5 GHz radios can be used for the backhaul and the other one along with the 2.4 GHz and 6 GHz for the clients. So if we have to have a wireless backhaul, this would be our best option, at least right now with today's Wi-Fi technology. Now, you might be wondering why there are two 5 GHz radios and not two 6 GHz radios. Because if we take everything into account, I mean range, throughput and etc, it looks like currently the 5 GHz band is the best choice for the backhaul. The 2.4 GHz band is obviously slower and the 6 GHz range is shorter. But of course there are cases that using other frequency bands might be better for the backhaul. Maybe because of the environment, interference, noise and etc. But as I said, overall the 5 GHz band seems to be a better choice.
The bottom line is if the backhaul needs to be wireless, currently a quad band mesh system is the best solution. That's why I think we will see quad band mesh systems in the near future. In fact, Netgear already has one, Orbi 960 series. But I think we're gonna see more from other companies soon. Now, let me know in the comments below if I should go through all the available whole home mesh systems in the market the same way I actually did it for the wireless routers a while ago. I mean, just give them scores for different categories so I can hopefully find the best potential whole home mesh system. Let me know if I should do that. But until then, thank you very much for watching this kind of a short video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time. I know